in that we are going to see about evaluation of the complete denture so evaluation of both the maxillary and the mandibular complete denture is necessary before insertion of the complete denture into the patient's mouth so the maxillary complete denture should be evaluated all over in the polished surface and also the intelligent surface of the denture the polished surface and the intelligent surface of denture should be palpated with the index finger and it should be run all around in the intelligent surface to check for any irregularities or nodules which is present in the intelligent surface of the denture and it should be trimmed in the mandibular complete denture it should be evaluated same as the maxillary complete denture and it should be checked for any irregularities or any nodules which is present if there is any irregularities or nodules present on the intelligent surface of the denture it will lead to irritation of the tissue peripheral adaptation and extension the peripheral adaptation and extension of the denture should be checked after inserting the denture in the patient's mouth first the frenal relief should be checked the labial frenum and the buccal frenum on both right and left side should be checked first if there is excessive amount of frenal relief whether it is given in the labial frenum and the buccal frenum so here the right buccal frenum relief is not given so it will lead to dislodgement of the denture so buccal frenum relief is inadequate so we are giving the frenal relief in this patient so here peripheral adaptation of the maxillary denture is being checked so the peripheral adaptation of the denture is checked by placing the mouth mirror in the junction between the denture base and the mucosa it should be checked all around over the labial mucosa on the labial vestibule buccal vestibule and also in the posterior palatal seal area and the patient is also instructed to say ha several times there should not be any escapement of air bubbles when the patient says ha so we should place the index finger in the palatal surface of the denture and instruct the patient to say ha so after checking the peripheral adaptation of the maxillary denture the mandibular denture is checked for the peripheral adaptation in the mandibular denture the peripheral adaptation is being checked all over in the labial buccal vestibule and proper frenum relief should also be given in the labial and the lingual frenum of the mandibular denture so after checking for the peripheral adaptation on the buccal and labial side it should be checked on the retromolar pad region so it is checked by placing the mouth mirror at the junction between the denture base and the mucosa so the peripheral adaptation is also checked in the retromolar pad region there should not be any gap present between the denture base and the mucosa so after checking the peripheral adaptation the extension of the maxillary denture is being checked so the base paste of the zinc oxide eugenol impression paste is used and it is coated all over uniformly on the intelligent surface of the denture it is coated evenly on the intelligent surface of the denture to indicate whether there is any pressure spot which will lead to irritation of the mucosa and whether there is any over extension so it has been coated and it is placed inside the patient's mouth so we are performing all the functional movements which is performed similarly to the border molding and after performing all the border movements for the maxillary denture it is being removed from the patient's mouth and it is being examined for any nodules or any over extension or any pressure spot whether it is present so here we see the pressure spot is present on the denture in this region so next we are going to check the retention and stability of the denture so for checking the retention of the denture it is first inserted into into the patient's mouth and there are two types of seal which has to be checked one is the anterior seal and the posterior seal of the denture so the anterior seal of the denture is checked by pulling the denture vertically out against the path of insertion and the posterior seal it must be checked by placing the finger on the palatal surface and the denture should not lift on the posterior surface so after checking this 
anterior and the posterior steel, the stability of the denture is checked by performing all the border movements and also after performing the border movements, on the denture must be pressed on the one side so that it does not lift on the other side. So this indicates that the denture has a perfect stability. So after checking the stability of the denture on the maxillary denture, in the mandibular denture the stability is being checked. So while checking the stability of the mandibular denture, the patient is asked to perform all the functional movement of the tongue and also when we press the denture on one side, that is when the denture is being pressed on the left side, it should not lift on the other side. So after checking for the retention and stability of the dentures, the occlusion has to be checked. So while checking for occlusion, the prominent point on the chin and the prominent point on the nose must be marked first. And after that, to assess the vertical dimension at rest, the patient is asked to say yum 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 several times. And the vertical dimension at rest is being measured. So after that, the patient is told to bite and the vertical dimension at occlusion is So for in this patient, the vertical dimension at rest is 66 mm and vertical dimension at occlusion is about 63 mm. So there is about 3 mm of clearance. So after this, wedging has to be checked. So the patient is asked to bite and the wedging of the denture is checked by placing the straight probe in the second molar region and it has to be wedged. So during wedging there should not be displacement of the mandibular denture. So on both on the right and the left side the wedging is checked for determining whether there is a perfect occlusion. So the centric contacts is checked with the help of the articulating paper. The articulating paper is placed inside the patient's mouth and the patient is asked to bite for several times in the centric contact. So when the patient bites, there will be high pressure contacts which is marked over the surface of the denture. So it will be examined after removing the denture from the patient's mouth. So we check the high pressure point contacts which is present and it has to be reduced. So while reducing only the inclines of the cusps must be reduced. So the cusp tip should not be reduced. So after relieving this, the denture is inserted into the patient's mouth and it is checked again. So the aesthetics of the denture must be examined. So aesthetic plays a major role during denture insertion. So the midline of the patient that is the facial midline should coincide with the dental midline. So the philtrum of the lip it should coincide with the midline of the central incisor. This should be checked first while examining the aesthetics. And the patient is also asked to smile slightly so that the incisal edges of the anterior teeth is visible. And after that, the patient is also asked to give a broad smile so that the gingival margins of the maxillary denture is visible. So this indicates a perfect aesthetic in the denture. So after this, the buccal corridor space, which is the triangular space present on either side, that is from the buccal surface of the premolar to the intercommissures of the lip. This should be about 3 to 4 mm ideally. So this buccal corridor space 
also has a major importance in aesthetics of the denture. So after checking the aesthetics, the occlusal plane of the anterior and the posterior teeth must be checked. So for checking the occlusal plane, so anteriorly the occlusal plane must be parallel to the interpupillary line and similarly for the posterior the, it should be parallel to the ala tragal line. So we should check this for checking the occlusal plane. So the patient's opinion about the aesthetics of the denture is also important. So we are giving the mirror to the patient and asking for the patient's satisfaction regarding the denture. So the patient is instructed to smile a bit and then asked to check for the aesthetic whether they are satisfied or not. So after this, the phonetics must be checked. For checking the phonetics, the patient is instructed to tell all the labiodental, linguodental and bilabial sounds. So the patient is instructed to say from 1 to 10 and also like the words like fan, van and also he is asked to pronounce his name. So there should not be any difficulty while pronouncing all these words.